project in the Competent Communicator book, and this project is How to Say It. The, the goals of this speech are, as they say in the manual, to write for the ear. So he, Jesse will be trying to use vivid but concise words and sentences to get his message across clearly, but keep it easy to listen to, easy to follow. As the book suggests, Jesse will use his words economically, getting the best bang for his buck with every word. This is quite fitting for Jesse, who feels that he's not one to be very long-winded or wordy, but rather he keeps his natural uh, speech delivery or conversation very succinct and concise. Jesse also hopes to work on his conclusions. In the past, he's felt that that's something that needs his attention, and so he will continue to work towards progress on, on wrapping up his speech in a very effective way. So please help me welcome Jesse Sutton on why I joined Postmasters. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. I'm going to speak today on why I joined Postmasters. I thought it was kind of a fitting topic for this week, our one-year birthday. I haven't been here that long in the club, but that's a good topic. Why did I join Toastmasters? I think it can be summed up in one word, opportunity. I saw an opportunity in Toastmasters to meet three things. Well, first it started off as two, and as I joined the club, I found out, hey, there's another opportunity here. The first is to meet new people. The second was to improve my public speaking, and the unknown to me was to enhance my leadership abilities. I had no idea that Toastmasters even offered that. But coming to Toastmasters, I really didn't know much about it. I knew my brother was a member, and it was about public speaking, but that's all I really knew. So I said, well, there's this club that meets here. I'm a new employee. I'll go check it out. So I'd only been here at the company for six or nine months when I first started coming to the meetings. I only knew the people that were in my little group. I didn't know anybody and I'd look around and see all these people saying hi to each other and talking in the halls. I need to meet some people so I can do that and network and kind of expand my circles here so I can get to know some people and kind of feel a part of the company, not just here I am. <coughs> little group of merchant settlement snug billing that was kind of stuck in this small little world. So since coming to the Toastmasters meetings, I found that I've done that. I've networked with all sorts of different groups within the company, even within Energy Supply, which a few of us are in that group that really didn't know some of the people that I work with every day kind of closely. And through that process, I've built some good friendships. And that's, I think, one of the key draws that I keep coming back to Toastmasters. The second opportunity I saw was to improve my public speaking. I can remember middle school speech class being terrified to go up to speak in front of people. Even <coughs> all through school, I never wanted to raise my hand. I never wanted to be called on. I kind of. I don't want to speak in public. I don't want to step out there and, and do that. And all through school, I've had opportunities to give presentations. In my MBA, I had a public speaking class. So I, I knew how to do public speaking, but it's not something that I would do often. And so I would always have that, that fear. So coming to the Toastmasters meetings have really helped me get over that, that I don't dread coming up and standing in front of talking to a bunch of people. So I really like that about Toastmasters. It's also helped me with my delivery, because it used to be really disjointed in my speaking. I would just kind of get up